signs your third eye is opening up and how this enhances your online coaching business. So if you've been consciously opening up your third eye and for reasons being to improve your manifestations, to enjoy life better, to maybe possibly experience um, deeper understanding of the world we live in, or it could be that you want to strengthen your special skill set and abilities when it comes to spiritual gifts that you might have, then this is awesome. But also alongside this, when you are opening up your third eye, it also helps massively with your online coaching business. So if this sounds of interest and awesome, let's jump in. Hi, my name is Jen Lillian and I'm here helping online spiritual coaches, healers and therapists supercharge their online coaching business. I also help online coaches position their services for free with a free listing within the Soul Central directory. It goes out every single month to over 10,000 plus soul searchers and seekers, manifestors and intuitives. So if that sounds like the right audience for you and you would like a free listing in the Soul Central directory, feel free to subscribe, like this video and also leave a comment below Soul Central directory and I'll send you over the information. Okay, so three signs that you are opening up your third eye and how this enhances your online coaching business is number one you have a headache <laughs> i have been really on my spiritual journey now for the last 10 years and sometimes um, at the beginning stages of when opening up my third eye i used to come across a a headache right in the center of my forehead and also i've had this really weird experience where there was like a, a release of what felt like fluid once and I looked into it um, years ago and I realized that's also another sign that this is like a bonus of sign number one um, but it's all part of this this um, opening of the third eyes so if you are finding a remote type headache especially in the center and you've had like this release of fluid is how it feels like uh, for me anyway then that is a sign that your third eye is opening number two when you are meditating you are noticing that your visualizations are so much stronger so much more clearer so much more piercing and um sharper um, I find, or I'm still finding now, that I love just closing my eyes, dipping into a visualisation, and it's just so clear to me, whatever it is I'm trying to manifest at the time. And if you are in on the journey of starting to open up your third eye, then you'll notice a big difference, especially if you are meditating whilst opening up your third eye. And the third sign, I think, is really you have noticed that your intuition is really on point. Like you can walk into a room, talk to someone, and without really even engaging with them too much, you know how they feel. You know even what they might even say to you. Um, or you might have better ideas on how to maybe move forward with your online coaching business. Like we've all heard, you know, use your gut to win in business. And um, years ago, when I was at school, college, and uni, I used to hear that a lot. But now, um, in my ad adult in my adult life, and hearing this even more, is that you are really guided by in your by your intuition. And if you are using that correctly, and you find it um, a lot easier to then navigate through your business and life relying on your intuition, that is a sure sign that your third eye is definitely opening because you have a, a, a direct link to your inner guide, your intuition, and that is definitely a good place to be. And also I'm gonna throw in a bonus of how you know that your third eye is opening. I have a um, awesome group of coaches around me and they all offer so many different quirky things. And there's been a few times where I've just been um, told they volunteered this information where they would know from their skill sets, their spiritual uh, skill sets, that my third eye is, is open. So I've had it um, confirmed many times over the years. Yes, my third eye is definitely open. So you can always just talk to someone if you're wanting to know if your third eye is opening or opened um, to receiving other things. Um, so that is obviously a bonus to this video. Okay, so just a disclaimer here. Um, it's funny because everyone wants to open up their third eye for many reasons. For example, um, in order to see things clearer, to understand things better, to strengthen their spiritual gifts, whatever it is they want to open up the third eye for. But however, please be aware, when I first started to open up my third eye for real innocent reasons, 
I end up pulling in some stuff that I couldn't quite explain, that was definitely beyond my understanding at the time. And if you're not ready to um, deal with the other points of open up your third eye, then it can lead to confusion and um, fear even, especially when you are visualizing things in your <laughs> reality that you don't quite understand. I personally am talking about negative ed energies. I'm not saying that's going to happen to you, but I must have a disclaimer along with this video because um, if you're opening up you open up to not just the good things or the bad thing, or you open up to the good things and bad things. So um, I always suggest to clients, if we ever get on this conversation in particular, making sure that you are always managing and maintaining a good energy around you because that will then um, help you with your manifestations. And when you are opening up your third eye, you're going to be just bringing in the stuff that you want, the stuff that you feel comfortable with, and also um, the stuff that you're ready for. Because I feel like if you are open up your third eye but also not working on your energy levels you could end up without realizing bringing in some other stuff and it's a bit too much to go into this video in particular but i just want to let you know so just to recap you are experiencing possibly a slight headache in the center of your head secondly your visualizations are more powerful especially when you meditate and thirdly your intuition is on point. Now, all these things are great when enhancing your business because if you are really um, opening up and you are intuitively in line or in tune with yourself and other people and clients, you're going to have better business results. Um, also, if you do have spiritual gifts that you're aware of, because we are born with spiritual gifts, but if you are maybe trying to maybe harness a few spiritual gifts, this will also will help you along your journey. And it's going to give you more of a, um, a greater life satisfaction as well, because you are in tune with who you really are as a true natured, awesome person. And there's so many other benefits as well when it comes to your meditations and your manifestations. And obviously, if you are um, a student, a, a very good student to um, manifesting and also meditating, that can only enhance your business leaps and bounds because you are really connecting with yourself. You really are balancing your energy. And therefore, that's going to shine out onto your business because I'm always a big believer that a business is a reflection of the person's inner world. If that person has a great um, balance inner world that usually portrays outwards onto their business as well. So I hope you found this video useful. Feel free to like this video, subscribe, and also comment Soul Central Directory below if you are wanting a free listing in the Soul Central Directory. Remember that goes out to over 10,000 plus intuitives, soul searchers and seekers, and I'm here in your corner to help push your online coaching business forward. Thanks again and see you in the next video.